Okay, so for this lecture, we're going to talk about positive operators and the matrix factorizations. To start with a definition of a positive operator is that it is self-adjoint and Tx x is non-negative for any x. And remark is that the orthogonal projection is positive, right? As we can decompose this and their inner product is basically non-negative. And the operator is the square root of t if r, r of r is equal to t. So we define the square root um, in operators. And here we have a characterization of positive operators. So this is a list of it, and we're going to prove each of them, OK? And the eigenvalues of t are non-negative because subadjoint operators, the eigenvalues are real, OK? So, uh, so a implies b. Well, this is already done, and to show that the eigenvalues are non-negative is that we have this. If lambda is, is the eigenvalue, tbv will be equal to this, and it's non-negative, right? And for b implies c, um, by the spectral theorem, right, there is the O and B are eigenvectors, and each eigenvalue is non-negative. And C implies D is that T has a unique positive square root. Well, to show this is that given an operator L defined by R on each basis is equal to the square root of lambda K E K. Right? Where lambda K is the is the uh, real numbers comes with the O and B and the spectral theorem. And we have this, right? And we have specified its value on the basis, so the R is uniquely determined, right? And to show that R is positive, we Rxx, right? We just calculate this, and it really just gives you this, which is not negative. And to D implies E, well, positive implies self-adjoint, and E implies F. To show that E implies F, t equals to r squared equals to r equals to r star r, right? Because there's a square root, right? There's a square root, and the square root is self-adjoint. So r star r, precisely in this form, right? And to go all the way back to establish the equivalence of everything, um, if t equals to r star r, t star is equal to t, right? And t b v equals to this, which is equal to this, which is greater than equal to zero. So we're done. So we can define the unique square root of t to be this the symbol. And t is positive. If t is positive and this is 0, implies tv should be equal to 0 because um, this is equal to this, which is equal to this. So square root of tv is 0, which means that tv equals to square root of t as Zero T V which is equal to zero. Right. Now we switch our viewpoint to matrices. We say that matrix is unitary if the columns are orthogonal list and KN with a KN equipped with a Euclidean or product. And given a matrix of S equal to MS, we have that S is unitary if and only if the matrix is unitary. So that our this theorem follows easily from the viewpoint of operators. So U unitary, the rows are O and B, and QVV is isometry, and we have this. It's basically our framework, it just let the O standard order basis for KN and we identify the columns in KN as n times one matrices with respect to B. We can do this uh, bijection and for any n times n matrix Q we can pick S such that the S with respect to basis B is equal to the matrix Q. And we have this before, right? A long time before. So A implies B. We just do we just shift all our viewpoints into we shift all our endpoints viewpoints into the operators. And we just swap back and forth, right? I mean from here, S V is the elements in here. But the matrix of S V is something else something looks like this. But when we're doing inner products, right, the norm is the square root of inner product, 
right? When we're doing inner products, doing this or this, right, is the same. So that's why I use this in quality. And this is something that the only thing I want to mention. Yes. So I'm good. And here's a theorem of QR factorization. Uh, let A be matrix with independent columns, so basically invertible. And there exists QR matrix as a Q is unitary, R is upper, upper triangular with positive numbers on diagonals such that A is equal to QR. And the proof is really by Gram Schmidt. So we let V1 and Vn be the columns of A, make an O and V to Fn with the Gram Schmidt. Now we have this is true for all of them, and we define matrix Rj to be this. And as you should verify that, well, the RJ is upper triangular, and we let Q be the unitary matrix with columns E1 to EN. So we have the, we can verify the kth column of QR is really equal to this thing, right? Because they're O and B, so we have this equality. And, and it's just some easy calculations to verify the rest is that RKK is positive. Okay. And we see the invertible is positive. Uh, oh, sorry. We said uh, a, a operator that is positive invertible, if and only if we have this for any non-zero vector v. And the proof is, again, really trivial, right? And we see that the matrix is positive finite if it's self-adjoint and bx x is in group positive for x not equal to zero. And the theorem is, there's a theorem that the proof would be omitted is that in you know, a positive finite matrix, there is this unique upper triangular positive numbers in diagonal such that B equals R star. And this is everything for this lecture.